Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant video and I'll talk about who has better app control and simple app interface. So I'm not comparing the whole product. Uh, for example, I'm not talking about who is better, whether Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. I'll just talk about uh, who wins in terms of uh, simplicity and easier controls of the apps or on website. So the first thing I would like to show you is that uh, here I have uh, Amazon Alexa and then here I have Google uh, Google Apps. Uh, so uh, and I'll uh, go into each of them and I'll uh, talk about uh, which one I believe it has better and easier to control. So let's start with uh, Google first. So the first thing which is confusing uh, with Google is that you will see that there are two actually two apps. One is called Assistant and one is called Home. So you might uh, get confused even before you start the app that which one you're supposed to uh, open whether Assistant or Home. So let's open Assistant and then uh, we'll see if uh, there's an option to control the app from here but when you open it then it just says that you know you can see that uh, there's no control here so it's just take uh, a look at these results starting with one from Google so it just looks like this is just like you know to have uh, app on your phone and uh, I'm not sure if you can even uh, like you know do anything by going here by clicking on this icon and then let's take a look here it just you know takes you to the explore section and it just gives you like you know what you can do or you cannot do and then basically that's all you have here so if you want to control your uh, Google devices for example Google Home Mini or anything then it looks like you have to go to the Google Home and then once you go to Google Home then you should be able to see the settings and other options for example right now I have uh, I can see that uh, this is my speaker right here and this is the Chromecast and then this is the settings right here so let's say I want to control my uh, device uh, so which is going to be Google Home Mini and then if I just uh, click on here then the first thing it's showing me is the volume so there's no like you know uh, home uh, screen or anything and then here I have just have a settings uh, wheel so if I click on that then it looks like you know it gives me some settings options from there so in order to set up so looks like that's how you can uh, start from there or if you just click on settings in here then this one actually you know is the setting for everything so this is even I find more confusing that you know which settings you're supposed to click where you're supposed to go uh, so that's that's my take on uh, Google uh, assistant now let's go to Amazon Alexa device so which is right here and there's no two two apps there's just only one app so you just click on it Okay, so I find it very easier to understand and you know navigate because there is a home screen and it starts with showing me weather, and then it just like you know gives me some suggestions uh, what to do or what I have been telling it, and then here on the bottom you can even see uh, some of the buttons you might use. Uh, for example, if you want to control your devices, then you have to click on devices, and then it will take you to each individual devices so for example these are the devices we have here or you can go by like you know groups bedroom living room and then if you want to go back to the home you have to just press here and if you want to talk to Alexa then you have to just click here and let's go back to the home button so if you don't want to do it that way then there is a kind of another setting right here which is very easy to understand because it looks like an email inbox so it's kind of on the left side of the uh, screen so you just click on it and then it's giving you all the option uh, in one place so I find it much easier to you know see and navigate and understand this way so this is my take on smartphone uh, for both uh, Amazon Alexa and Google Home or Google Assistant so it looks like you know uh, Amazon Alexa is much better to navigate 
easier to control and then it has simple interface so here Amazon Alexa wins so now we'll go back to uh, a laptop uh, because uh, you should be able to control your devices or control your smartphone from your laptop as well I'll look at now Alexa website from where you can control uh, your Alexa devices just like uh, using your smartphone or a tablet now in order to do that you need to go to alexa.amazon.ca or alexa.amazon.com or if you're in any other country try searching uh, by your country name so once we are there then I'm looking at the main screen and it looks like very consistent with the app uh, so basically on the left side you have the menu and uh, for example home uh, music video list uh, lists uh, reminders and alarms skills and everything and on the right it, it will just show you you know what uh, you have been telling Alexa and then it just uh, tells you to things to try so it's very easy to control and there is no confusion so you can uh, basically uh, do the same thing as you would be you're doing uh, you are to do from your tablet or uh, smartphone so they're very consistent in both the website on website and app now if you want to do the same thing for Google Assistant then uh, there's actually no website so there is a website uh, which is assistant.google.com but surprisingly it just gives you a list of uh, what you can do or uh, how to control uh, or how to use your uh, Google Home Assistant so there are a few tabs overview where to find it and then uh, if we go to what it can do so it just tells you like you know the applications or features which are available but I don't see anywhere from where you can control your own devices or you can just do the same thing just like uh, Alexa website so again uh, Alexa wins here because uh, it's uh, consistent with the both uh, website and uh, smartphone application and you can do everything by either using a uh, website or a smartphone but it looks like for Google Assistant you cannot use any website you have to just go to the app uh, on your smartphone or tablet so in terms of uh, simplicity of app interf uh, interface and easier controls uh, I find that uh, Amazon uh, have done a better job uh, in uh, controlling everything uh, in terms of giving you the full control and make it uh, simpler and uh, everything at one place but uh, for Google Assistant uh, it's still uh, conf uh, you know confusing and uh, they're not consistent and they're like you know more than one app uh, and you might easily get confused which one you have to open or where to go but uh, this doesn't mean that you know I'm comparing the devices so that's a different uh, issue I'm just comparing the apps and the website interfa interface to uh, control your devices or control your assistance so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching forget about uh, subscribing this channel forget about uh, liking this video I'll see you shortly